the scale, and of course I'm prepared with no spoon. Professional. All right. Tjena, välkommen to Swedes kitchen this time, not the gym. So today I want to go over one of my favorite easy and high protein snacks, okay? This is also easily modified so that you can add calories or reduce calories depending on what your nutritional needs are. Uh, the macros I'm going to give you today is going to include exactly how I make it, uh, but then I'm also going to kind of go over how you can adapt and adjust it to fit your needs, okay? So what you'll need is six whole eggs, 180 grams of cottage cheese. Uh, I'm using low fat cottage cheese to keep those calories down and the protein up, okay? 44 grams of mozzarella, okay? Or whatever cheese you like, all right? Um, and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna crack all of these eggs into this blender cup, put the cottage cheese also into the blender cup, and I'm gonna take it over to the blender and blend it together. I'm gonna to take this cheese and put it into the pans and then we're gonna add some bacon uh, and we're gonna pour this on top. So let's get it going. First, if you are not using a food scale and you're kind of just guessing how much you're eating, you're wrong, I promise you. You think that you have, oh, this is about 100 grams, it's not. So make sure you get yourself a food scale, okay? So remember, winners keep score. This is part of that score right there. You gotta know how much you're eating and how much you're putting in. Otherwise, it's just a guessing game. You don't really know what you're doing, okay? So 44, we're gonna weigh it out here into this bowl, bam. That right there is 21 and bam. That's 38. That's 44 on the dot, see? Now we're keeping score. So I'm going to disperse this evenly into here. Now, don't forget to spray your muffin pan, okay? So we're going to use a muffin pan here, and we're going to fill them up about three quarters of the way because they will kind of expand a little bit. So if you fill them up all the way to the top, you're going to have a mess. You don't want that, okay? So we're going to spray these. We're going to put the cheese in here as we go. Now, again, if you want more cheese, you're just going to have to increase the amount of calories into your macros here. I always go by serving size, makes it much easier. Don't just randomly and haphazardly throw things in there. Make sure you're doing it by uh, the serving size. So I got some bacon in the microwave. I'm gonna pull that out, chop it up, mix it up with this, cause I'm gonna make bacon, egg, and cheese. That's the best taste in my opinion. Now you can put in all sorts of stuff here. Uh, I've made this with tomatoes, with uh, green peppers, with bell peppers. Uh, you can put spinach. Um, really anything you would put into like an omelet, mushrooms, you could put cheese and, um, what was I gonna say? I lost my train of thought. Let's keep moving forward. All right, you could basically put anything in there that you would put into a quiche or into uh, any kind of omelet, all right? So uh, moving on, let's get this other stuff out here and let's get moving. All right, so here we go. We got that bacon cut up right here. Okay, so I just use regular bacon. Now you can also use bacon bits uh, if you just wanna make it even more simple. You don't have to use bacon at all, but I like bacon, so let's do it. All right, next, eggs. Put them in, that's one. So um, if you are trying to cut down on fat, you wanna have a higher protein, lower calorie. I think I just flung some eggs over there. Then what you want to do is, instead of using whole eggs, maybe use one or two whole eggs, because I believe there's a lot of good in the egg yolk, but it does contain most of the fat of the egg. You can switch out the six eggs for maybe two eggs, or even just all egg whites, okay? Now, I like to do the whole egg because I have a good amount of calories to play with, uh, and also I'm using the low-fat cottage cheese to kind of offset the extra fat in the eggs. All right, that's in there. I'm going to take the cheese off of there. Bam, put that on there. Zero out the scale. And of course, I'm prepared with no spoon. Professional. All right, let's see. Use a finger that doesn't have egg on it. 
Cool. All right. So we're going to do 180 grams of cottage cheese in here. Hopefully it'll fit. One scoop. That's 33. Two. Three scoops. That's 190. No, it's not. It's 120. 150. 178. Let's pretend I didn't miss twice. Oh my God. All right. 182. I'll take it. Close enough. I'm not going to make you listen to me blend this up because you know how to use a blender and you don't need to hear all that noise. So we'll be right back. All right. I am back from making more of a mess in the corner. That's all right. If your house is clean, you're not using it right. I'm not saying don't clean, but I'm saying it's going to be messy if you're using your kitchen. I don't have one of those fancy YouTube clean kitchens. This is a real kitchen. All right, so I want to make sure this does not stick. If you forget this step right here, you're going to have some trouble. All right, so I'm just going to spray inside. Bam. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, and ten. Make it easy, okay? So when you put this recipe in, if you're using something like my fitness pal, that's what I use. I'm not sponsored by them. I wish I had some sponsors. I'm just doing this to help you guys out. Uh, but anyway, if you put it in, make a recipe and put in whatever you have here as a serving. So if you do eight, then put in everything that you're putting in and then split it into eight uh, servings. So that way if you eat two of them, just make it two servings, right? So I'm gonna make 10, because that's what kind of makes sense in this pan here, all right? And then we're gonna start off with the cheese, right? So I'll bring you guys in a little bit for this one, I guess. All right, so the way I like to do this is first, I start with the cheese. I try to put this in here as evenly as possible. So the cheese will melt a little bit and also float so you don't have to worry about it not uh, being distributed equally in here. You'll see when we start to pour into these. Just about perfect. Good. Now, if you wanted to be really, really specific, you could weigh each one of these but i think this is close enough because i'm pretty much going to eat all of these anyway all right next same thing here with the bacon okay we're going to put a little bit of bacon in each one you don't need a lot just to get that taste very nice I sound like borat all of a sudden All right, so next we're going to pour in our mixture of cottage cheese and egg, all right? So we're going to pour it in nice and slow. Hopefully this will come out good. Good, didn't make a huge mess. That's what we like. Oops, starting to make a mess. That's all right. Here we go. So I would suggest underfilling these first. Uh, so that way, if you misjudge, you don't have a really full one and some half full ones. And you can always come back and top them off afterwards. Yeah, so there we go. So this one's a little bit low. This one could use a little more. A little more. A little more. All right, very good. Okay, so this is gonna go in the oven for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. Now, I'm gonna take some water and I'm gonna pour it in a second pan underneath here. Why am I doing this? Man, I don't know. I'm just kidding. So this helps uh, not burn the bottom of the egg. 
so that way you get a nice cook on those eggs. All right, cool. It's about one cup in there. All right, next, let's move on to the oven. All right, here we go. Into the oven with it and nice and warm in there. Be careful since you put the water in the bottom here. Go nice and slow. Cool, that's it. So now we got 30 minutes in here. I'm gonna check on them after 25. Uh, you may wanna check uh, at 20, 25, and 30, just to make sure that, cause every oven is not gonna be the same, even though it says 350 degrees, it might have higher or lower temperature, smaller space. So just check, uh, don't just trust that 30 minutes is gonna be perfect, okay? 30 minutes is just the recommended time. So I'll be back after 25 minutes to check and we'll see what they look like. All right, so by the power of editing, we have fast forwarded in time. It has now been 25 minutes. I'm gonna check on these guys and see how they're doing. They look pretty done. Let's pull them out. Again, be careful. Remember, we have that water in the bottom. You don't wanna spill that on you because it's gonna be about 300 degrees. Let's take you in for the flyby. Wow. All right. Those look amazing. I'm going to let them cool for about five minutes and then I'm going to eat some of them. Try this out yourself. See what you think. So even though it's been sprayed, I want to use a spoon here to kind of knock loose some of the cheese that has like melted to the side. It's not really stuck, but if you just try to scoop it out, you're going to leave some egg in there. Uh, I'm sure there's some sort of rule about don't use metal in your cooking pan, but man, I don't follow no rules. All right, done. So here are the macros for the snack right here. This is for one of these muffins. So I usually eat three of them. So when you put this into your app or if you calculate your macros, one serving is one. So if you eat three, that's going to be three servings. And then just multiply all of those macros by three or however many you eat. Enjoy. Let's see if we have someone else who can taste test this to make sure it's good. All right. And now for the most important part. A taste test by the toughest critic of all. What do you think? Ooh, she takes the middle one. <laughs> so, what, what is the verdict? They're amazing. They're amazing, okay. I didn't know what was going on there. <laughs> All right, looks like we pass. We made a good meal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very nice. All right. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Well, guess what? I'm gonna eat one too. Wow. All right, I hope everyone enjoyed the video, found something helpful. If you want to, like and subscribe. If you don't want to, I can't make you. It does help though, so I appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great day. Get buff. Let's get it.